today we're going to take a quick look at the Lenovo Vibe X2 from Panduel. Now this device is really exciting because it features the latest MediaTek processor, the MT6595M, with the big little architecture. I'll explain all of that in a minute, so we'll first start with the unboxing. As you can see, the packaging has this nice overlay piece with Lenovo's Vibe branding on the front. Lifting that off, you can see the nice golden packaging with Lenovo's logo on the top left. Moving to the left side, you'll find the MediaTek logo. So to start the unboxing, you just pull the ribbon on the right side of the box. The phone is seated in the first tray, and will quickly lift up on the film tab. You can now see the phone and its heavily marketed layered design. I'm going to set that aside for now, but we'll get back to it soon enough. Lenovo has cleverly placed another tab to lift up the tray to find a documentation packet. Opening this up, you'll see the SIMDOR ejection tool. Since this device has a non-removable cover, you'll need to use this to access your SIM card or cards. This is a dual SIM device, and it has spots for a micro SIM and a nano SIM. It does take only a second to remove the tray, and here I am inserting a nano SIM. Setting that back to the side, we'll now take a look at the documentation. This all appears to be in Chinese, but you do get a clear protective case, which looks like it won't add too much thickness to the already very thin device. Now that we've finished with the top tray, I'll pull out the bottom tray. Here we have a standard Lenovo branded US AC adapter for charging the device, and also a micro USB cable. As a pleasant surprise, we also have some bundled in ear headphones. We'll now take a look at the Vibe X2. I'll start by peeling off the three pieces of film two on the back, and one on the screen. You can now see the phone completely with its golden aluminum magnesium back and orange layers. The 13 megapixel rear camera is on the top left, and many of you will be pleased to know that it does not protrude from the back. It's completely flush with the device. My first impression is that the phone is very thin and incredibly light. It is just under 7.3 millimeters thick and weighs a mere 120 grams. Powering it up, you'll see the 5 inch 1080p super sensitive display. It does include 32 gigabytes of onboard storage and 2 gigabytes of RAM. It is also dual SIM, as mentioned before, but the MT6595 now supports 4G LTE, FDD, LTE bands 3 and 7. If you are interested in carrier support, please check the full frequency list using the link in the description. It also has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, a nice change for those fortunate enough to have a compatible router. Now that it's booted up, you can see Lenovo's Vibe UI 2.0, which is running on top of Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Inside, we have a 2300 milliamp battery, and the phone is powered by the MT6595M processor. Unlike previous MediaTek processors, this one has four Cortex-A17 cores clocked at 2.0 GHz, and another four Cortex-A7 cores clocked at 1.7 GHz. This is part of ARM's new Big Little architecture, and it promises significant performance gains. The GPU is also the PowerVR GRG6200, clocked at 450 MHz. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Vibe X2. It looks to be a very compelling device, and I'm really excited to test it over the next week. If you like this video, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. That is going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to subscribe.